Okay, uh, this week we've got some interesting ones. Uh, we're going to start off with the Tom Petty song, Learning to Fly. It's very simple. It's in four, four um, chords. It's F, C, A minor, and a G. Uh, there we go. Okay, so again, it's F, C, A minor, G. Okay, and this drum pattern's real simple too. The F, the first and third chords are down, up, down. So F, and then C is up, up, down. A minor is down, up, down. And G is up, up, down. So again, it's down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And that's the song. That's pretty much it. It's four chords and, and that's it. There's a little solo in the middle that we'll look at. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So I think we're going to have Tom just go ahead and play it because it's that simple. So let's go ahead and see what the Heartbreakers have for us this morning. Try that again. Got a little bit off there.
And there you go, Tom Petty. Now let me go ahead and show you that uh, that little lead in there. It's pretty cool. It's all in. It's in the key of C. It's all C's. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your D shape. And you're going to come all the way up to the twelfth fret. So it's 12, 13, 12. So you're going to kind of slide into. You can start about ten and slide into twelve. You just play uh, G B E. So you start on ten, right? Ten at B at G. Play that, slide to 12, and it's 12, 13, 12. Okay? The next one, you're going to take your F shape. Take your three bar F, a three string F. You're going to start about um, the sixth fret and slide up to, well, it'd be the seven, six, six. You're going to slide up to um, uh, nine, eight, eight. So, so again, you're taking your F shape. You're starting at... Uh, seven, six, and six, and you're gonna slide up to um, nine, seven, nine, eight, and eight. So, so far we got. Okay, now you're gonna do the same thing. And then you come back to the, to the, the G string, and then go to 10 on D. So that part again, that third, that third, that third part is. So you slide up like you did the second time, from seven, uh, six, six, to nine, eight, eight. Come back to uh, nine on on uh, G, and then play ten on D. So so far we got. Okay, now the last part, you're going to take your first finger, you're going to hold down both the D and the G strings at three, and you're going to slide up to five. So you take G and D, D, D and G, you're going to play the D and slide up, and when you get to five, then you're going to pick the G. So it's like this. So you only pick the D first and slide. And then when you get to the fifth string, fifth fret, then play the G as well. Okay, and then and then come back to your D. So it's okay. Now play A at the seventh with your third finger. So you got. And then come back and play. A at the third with your first finger. So here's that whole thing again. So three, barring D and G at three, play the D, slide to five, play uh, G at five, play uh, D at five again, play A at seven, and then slide back down, play at uh, A at three. And then to close it out, you just play A, E5, E3. So here's that last little part. Okay, so here's the whole, here's the whole lead. Of course, uh, Mike Campbell's playing sly, but we're just playing regular old notes. <laughs> and that's the whole song. That's, that's learning to fly. So take that and run with that one or fly with it or whatever you're going to do with it. All right. Hope you like that one.